Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are looking at how to calculate the percentage of two values. In the previous video we calculated the percentage based on one value. So now we're going to crank it up and we are now going to two values. So to calculate the percentage when you are given two values we need to create a fraction and then do something with that fraction. We need to then multiply we need to then multiply that fraction by 100 okay so let's look at a scenario so they tell us that the highest mark John received was 37 out of 45 what would his mark be as a percentage now we can see that this does not have you know a mark out of a hundred um, so it doesn't look like our normal percentages so what are we going to do well we're going to take our 37 over 45 and what did we say we're going to do we need to create a fraction and multiply the fraction by 100 so if we multiply this by 100 what we'll end up getting is 82 percent now now you might ask but how it's simple we're going to take 37 we would divide it by 45 and whatever our answer is we would end up multiplying that by 100 and this is how we end up getting our answer of 82 percent what percentage is 3,000 out of 5,500? So they want us to look at that percentage. What are we going to do? We need to express it as a fraction. Do we have a fraction here? No, we don't. So we're going to take our 3,000. We're going to divide that by 5,500. And we're going to multiply that by 100. Again, guys, it's a case of 3,000 divided by 5,500. And whatever that answer is, we'll multiply that by 100. And what we'll end up with is an answer of 55%. Let's look at one more example, but let's change it up a little bit. In the previous example, we asked what percentage was 3,000 or 5,500. Now let's ask what percentage is 40 grams of 1 kilogram. So now we have a little bit of a problem because these units are not the same. And if units are different, the first step we need to do is to convert them to the same unit before forming the fraction. So again, where we have different units, the first step is to convert to the same units and then we can proceed with step number two which is our fraction and then we can multiply it by 100. we're going to take 40 grams over here we're going to leave it as is but we're going to convert our one kilogram into grams now how many grams are there in a kilogram well one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams so I'm going to divide my 40 by 1000 grams and again multiply it then by 100. So there you can see folks, my 40 divided by 1000 and I'm going to then multiply that by 100 and that will give me an answer of 4%. And this is how we calculate the percentage of two values.